Welcome to another episode of Life Balance with Dr. Chin Wei. And today I have on the call, um, of course, you're looking at him, you know he's a youth, yeah? And um, was, you know, in words, he's not a youth because he knows so much. Anyway, that's some um, Dalit and Wusu we have today, who's going to be talking to us as a young um, adult. And um, he's going to talk so much about the life in Nigeria as a youth and, of course, um, so many things. Okay, so. Dante, welcome to the show. I'm excited to be here. On Life Balance, this is my first appearance, mm. and I hope to uh, be here more yeah, often. Yeah, I hope to be having you a lot more often because there's so much we need to know from you. Um, having graduated as a very young a person, at the age of 19, he was already a graduate, okay? Not just a regular graduate, but with first class in industrial chemistry. So that struck me. I was like, wow. I can't imagine um, young people like this doing so much you know, so much academically, and of course, balancing it out with even the kind of lifestyle they live. So, Darlington, nice to have you on the show. Yes, I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Let's kick off already. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, today, we're going to be looking at you as a young person. Now, when you graduated, you had so much hope. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, at 19, so you're already a graduate. Okay. Uh, did it look to you like it was something different? Because it's not a regular thing, you know, mm -hmm. um, graduating at that age and with that kind of class. What, what motivated you to you know, to still be focused and come out with a first class at that age? Okay, so, yeah. First off, my motivation was my background. Okay. Um, I lost my dad when I was very young, oh. four years old. So, wow. watching my mom struggle so hard to train four mm. kids was mm. enough motivation. Okay. I come from a background where... Um, you don't need anybody to tell you that you need to sit up. Mm. When you look around you, mm. you look at the fact that you're the first son. Okay. You have two more or three more siblings looking up to you, then you need to perform properly. So another motivation I had coming out with that kind of result was the fact that I was on a scholarship. Okay. So after um, finishing high school, mm. uh, uh, we call it secondary school here in Nigeria, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I got an opportunity to... Um, write a scholarship exam, which I passed. So mentally, I had this idea that if somebody could, if I could be privileged to mm. go to school on someone else's money, mm. I should make use of every single opportunity time to come up with the very best to justify why I should be in that space. So these two things motivated me to move forward. And I was more strategic. Mm. Uh, when I got in, in, um... No, sorry. Let, let's cut you short there. Yeah. You said these two things. I mean, you you were you were very you were very aware that you were going to school on somebody else's money, and yeah. that kept you. you that, know, kept, that kept that, me straight. Yeah, that kept you straight. Wow, that's good to hear because you know right now what we see, we don't really care, especially um, just don't care. They just feel things should be done anyhow. So when they have access to things, they don't know it's a privilege. They feel it's a right. Yeah. You know, I see people who have such opportunity at the same time they don't come out very well okay but let me also take it back again so you had a scholarship yeah so why did you have a scholarship well um i had a scholarship it was actually planned okay. initially okay <laughs> right the okay. the information for the scholarship i can remember mm. it was very very much impromptu okay i had the exam the next day mm. and i was informed the evening before so mm. why I think I had the scholarship was I was always prepared. Mm. I was always prepared. Um, I'm this kind of person that I feel like as a young person, mm. you don't it's know. Always prepared. Always steadfast and sure. Wow. Which used to be the uh, the slogan of Boys Brigade in those mm. days. Steadfast, so, sure. <laughs> so you need to. Were you yes, Boys Brigade? Just three. Or the Boys Brigade. Okay, so those, those little, little things count. Those little, little things count. Okay. You know, Sometimes you don't understand that all the experiences you've been having will one day pile up into one, one chunk of knowledge that you can always dip your hands into or mm. dip your knowledge base into and get mm. it out from. So mm. I, I always have this mentality that I need to be ready at every single point in time. Okay. So if I'm going out, I'm checking myself. Am I well dressed today? What wow. if I meet my destiny helper out there? <laughs> wow. you know, so I'm very much particular about what I say, the kind of people I meet, the kind of of company I so you're intentional about life yes so i'm very very much intentional about life mm. i feel like every day i wake up is an opportunity to oh. do something better mm. or be better mm. so i'm not used to just wanting to just go through the days 
as it is. Everything has wow. to be pre-planned, pre-cooked, really? strategic. So when I got the info that I want, I want, I was to write a squash for exam. I was excited mm. and I was prepared. I needed to just get to the venue, get my certificates or any documents they needed ready, and mm. I wrote. And by the grace of God, um, out of sixty-four, I was number one from my zone. Wow! So I got in. That was the beginning of 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 of, of it for me. So I got mm. in, did the thing, studied the school system, and I was like. In my first year, first semester, I was like, I think, I think I'm going for the ultimate. Wow. Yeah. So this is a, a young guy who, from the beginning, even not even not because he was looking for a job or something, he already, as a as a child, he was already intentional about his life. And um, some of the reasons he said is because he wasn't Boy Scouts, and um, all those little little things matter in one's life. So I think there's an opportunity to let people also know that um, those little groups that you're overlooking, they mean a lot too. You know, that's it. People. Um, some people say, I don't want to join any of this group in school. I just want to read my book. So it's not just about book, 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 right? Yeah, it's not really about... I think it's even more of... I would say 40% of the books. Okay. Um, because the if, books? if you're graduating from a university, mm. they will offer you a certificate in character and learning. Okay, in character, character and learning. character first before the learning. So No, I did, uh, I'm not sure I noticed that. It's yes, character before learning. The yes, they say the certificate is offered character and oh. learning. So the character is first before the learning. Personality. I, I, I think you're a detailed person because I have not even been able to look at that. You know, I just, I just see it. It doesn't stop. Apart in my from head that, I when I graduated, mm. I looked at myself. I was like, okay, apart from, because I read industrial chemistry. Mm. Apart from industrial chemistry, what else do they know Darlington for? Okay. If the world should look at you now, apart from your paper qualification, what mm -hmm. are you also known for? Mm. So I'm more of general personal development than just books. Not like the books are not important, mm. but apart from if they take you out of your space or where you're good at, how valuable would you be to the world? Mm. If I was a doctor right now, mm. I usually do ask myself, apart from being a medical practitioner, mm -hmm. where else would they bring you out mm. that you'd be able to function? Okay. So I think it's all round development that's, mm -hmm. that's a need for me. So mm. if you're in any group or if you're opportune to be in any um, society organization mm. that would develop you. Maybe you're in the Rotary Club, you're in the Boys Brigade, Boy Scouts, you're in Red Cross. These are small, small things that will become, yeah. uh, that will bring you out to the world. Mm. You'll be surprised that it's not even what you read yeah. that would later be what you're doing. Yeah, it might just be an saying, addition. You know, you, you have a first class, but when I look at you, I don't even remember that part. What I remember is how humorous you can be, you know. <laughs> he has this sense of humor. I'm like, why don't you go into comedy, you know. And then he has this very strong personality when it comes to sales. I'm like, wow, this guy is a motivational speaker. This guy is, this guy is just, any space you put him in, he will just fit in, you know. He fits in. So, so darling, I'm wondering, how did you become so multi-talented? Well... Um, first, how I started was after school, I wanted to discover more sides of myself that that wasn't in, in school. So I asked myself, what, what do I like? And I love sports a lot. Okay. Especially, apart from the normal football, I love combat sports. So I interned at a radio station where I was presenting sports on radio. Oh, you were presenting sports on radio. Yeah, oh, no wonder you. So, okay. it was, and, it was, and you start becoming clearer. Yes, yes. It, it was a very good experience mm. because it opened me up to, it opened up my communication skills. Okay. So that that was that for that. Before I now fell in love with sales. Mm. But listening to this, I love sales, <laughs> and I can sell you anything. I can I sell your house to you now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I love sales. I love the idea of when people are creative enough mm. to use their or to use their communication skills relationship skills and land deals okay. so um i i have a network marketing background okay. on that and we are looking to you know get to a point where we have a major major marketing and sales agency okay. for brands that's what we are working towards so all around i i, I enjoy being an all-rounder Mm. I enjoy the accolades. I'm not those people that would be like, oh, yes, don't worry. I want the accolades. <laughs> Call me up on the stage for achievements. I like it. I'm putting it out there. I like the, 
Because the applause is encouraging to me. It means that, okay, I'm doing something. Not, not, not that. I like this thing you do. It's very, very vocal. Yes, yes. now. Not like if the applause, the way not like if the applause is not there, I wouldn't move forward. But me, I want the applause. <laughs> applaud me. <laughs> No, well, in fact, I'm already applauding you. Because, you know, no, when it comes to when it comes to Darlington, I know that Darlington is a goal getter. So even without even applauding, you should know that we know, you know. Like, no. but, we're, but we're gonna be we're gonna be applauding yes, you publicly because, so that you because know. when it comes to when it comes to sales, especially you nobody know, will blow your trumpet apart from you. Mm, mm, yes, no. okay. Like so, my mentor, Grant Cardone. Oh, so, Grant Cardone is your mentor. Exactly. Oh, Cardone. really? Yes. Wow. Okay. I'm Lucy. I, and who? Obviously. Wow. So this guy, he already has mentors. So do you relate with your mentors or you just, you know, I mean, as a mentee, just follow them up or do you communicate with them at the intervals? At, at the, as a mentee, I follow them on their social media platforms. Okay. You no, know, they are mentors you can easily reach. While they are mentors, you can't easily reach. You just like their success and you're trying to follow their blueprint because okay. success is key. Yeah. But for, I have mentors who are people I can easily go to okay. if I have um, a problem, mm. you know, one or two things. Mm. I'm, I'm still growing anyway. Okay. I'm still yeah. very much um, my my primary stage. Uh, you know, watch, watch out for out this guy thing. anyway. <laughs> but we are, we are getting there, so I need, I need, I need uh, Okay, so we'll come back to you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to our, our channel, Life Balance, and of course, Darlington is still on the call mm -hmm. uh, with me. Young people, their lifestyle, the things they do, what you know, what um, inspire them. And so, um, this is friend I know. Okay, she's um, she's always like, um, I don't want people to know about me. I don't want you know. So she's she claims to be like humble. In fact, we call it in quotes humility. In the sense that you don't want people to see you, you're, you want to be invisible, but you're doing great things. I'm wondering, why is it so? If you're doing things that are right, then people should know that you're doing things, okay? Instead of hiding. So, uh, Darlington, for you, I'm not sure you're in that school of thought that feel you should go on that when you're doing great things. Mm -hmm. uh, or do you think um, what she's saying, what she's doing, is it proper for you to hide yourself and all of that? Well, I think it has to do with personality. Okay. Um... Some people have that, um, let me just do my thing okay. and just be who I am. Mm. Um, I think it has to do with our mindsets okay. with regards to what we are doing. Mm. Now, if I believe that what I am doing is God's sense to put mm. a particular value to a particular place, mm. then I feel like I have to blow my trumpet mm. because it's not about me. Mm. There are people that will draw strength from me what I do, mm -hmm. who I am, and my personality. Mm. So personally, for me, my own personality is, is out there. I am not inside. I want to be outside. I want the world to know who I am, what I do, how I've been able to impact them, so that the day that it's all going to be over, mm -hmm. it's going to happen with a smile on my face. <laughs> wow. Know? Yeah, so wow. That's, that's my own school of thought. Mm. Put everything out there and... And let the world, let the world, let the world, let the world hear about Darlington Woods. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Darlington Woods, the great sales, our personal, uh, personality. Incoming. That, incoming, eh? incoming. Incoming. <laughs> okay, you're still under the tutoring of uh, Don Cardon and the, and the A rest lot of, of them. them. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine to know. Uh, so, uh, one more thing I want to ask about is, um, yes, first, the, um, first class, you know, but you are not kind of, um, I was thinking of when people have first class, they're going to go to becoming professors, and all of those things. Um, and I also hear people say education is a scam and all of that. Okay, mm. so how do you relate all of these things? Okay. For a young person, mm. I think the greatest gift you can have from God as a young person is clarity. Okay. If you have clarity about what you want to do mm. and you start following that path down, mm -hmm. then your, you've ticked the effects box Towards clarity, you a said. clarity, yes. Okay. You take the first box towards where you're going to end up. That is what I believe. Okay. Now, if your clarity is to be in the educational sector, mm. by all means, pursue the educational sector. Mm. 
my own clarity after coming out with such a good result was not to pursue the education part. Okay. I have an inclination to business. Okay. I want to be a business person. Mm. Right? So being in an office probably might not just work for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, might not just work for me. So I pursued my my um my idea or I pursued my my itch okay. for business. Okay. You know, so you need to have clarity for mm. yourself and for what you want to do. Mm. Secondly, please, if you're a young person listening to us today, mm. please, school is not a scam. You see, That's most, what most people say, no, school is a scam. Please, no, by all I'm, means, eh, pursue mm. good grades. See, school is not a scam. Okay. Good grades is very important. It's going to be important. It was important in the past. It's important now in the present. It mm -hmm. will be important in the future. Mm -hmm. Please have good grades. Now, school is not a scam. Okay. When you feel like school is a scam, it's because you're looking at the parts where you enter the class and you learn for two hours for one course. Mm -hmm. School is more than that, right? Like I was mentioning character and learning before, school can be a place you develop yourself. For example, you're into theater arts now. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to make, if you check all the people that, you know, that are successful, you can trace their starting points to schools. Look at these governors and presidents. You can trace their urge for leadership when they became SUG presidents. Mm -hmm. All the top actors or the top artists, you can you can trace their origin back to when they were doing small, small gigs in school. Okay. So apart from the class, mm. right, there are other things you can start in school. School is where you can develop yourself. You can you can have a liking for something. No, but you know the thing is this, okay, most people have gone to school, okay, they've come out, they're expecting to like have you know, there's, there's, an, there's an idea you have in your head that when you come out, you're going to do X, Y, Z thing. Possibly you're going to get a job. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it. Let's bring it down to the Nigerian sector. Yeah. Okay. So the young people are coming out. They've gone to school. Four years in school or five years. They come out. They expect to get a good job. The job is not forthcoming. Yeah. They also say, okay, fine. Let me start a business. Yeah. Okay. Now, because of the kind of government we have, they are not supportive of these youths. Yeah. Okay. Who are... Who, who, who wants to do something, but they don't even have the capital to start with up. So that's why I think they, they begin to think that school is a scam. I spend so much time in school. I can get a good job. I can also do business I want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? And to worsen it all, you know, they, they, they are not able to... I mean, people are looking at life as all about money, 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 money. If yeah. you don't have money, they say if you don't get money, hide your face. All kinds of slogans make them feel yeah. that, oh, there are other ways we can make money. Okay. I don't have to be in school for that long and mm. come out and I'm not speaking. So let's look at the people that are not in the school. Okay. How different is it for them in still in the same country? The truth is, eh, <laughs> Wait. Nigeria <laughs> will still happen to you. School or not, <laughs> life will still happen. Uh, be... uh -uh. So it's not about it's school. Not, it doesn't, it's not about school mm. or not school. Okay. There are people that do not go to school mm. that are making it. Okay. See, the principles of success mm. is the same. For every single field okay. let's just say you're a you're you're someone this is common in the from where from where i'm from mm. the evil part of the nation okay people get to ss3 and then they'll go and do one boy yeah. in quotes apprenticeship serve somebody okay and then start importing containers mm. after seven years your girl said to you mm -hmm. now what they have done there is yes they did not go to higher institution mm -hmm. but then they have gone through some form of development over that seven years of okay. serving the auger. Okay, that's a kind of so schooling have, too. Yes, that's, that's, a, that's schooling. Okay. So okay. they have followed a particular mentorship structure okay. to get to a desired destination. Oh, okay. So if you keep, keep shouting school is scam oh, okay. and you don't follow, you want to become successful okay. and you don't follow a blueprint of somebody that has become successful in mm. your particular space, mm. then pretty much no okay, so no school, so, so school is not just about the four walls of the university yes. and all of this. It's beyond, it's beyond, beyond, beyond that, that. The contacts so, okay. you make, the self-development, the mm. self, um, what's the word now? Where you, dis the self-discovery. Mm. That's, that's why I feel, and no best time to do it is than when you're, you're young okay. and in the four walls where you see other people like you okay. that are also trying to discover themselves. Okay, so you've talked about this school not being a scam. At least the young people out there know that school is not a scam. It's not at uh, all. And it's not just only about the four walls of the university. Okay, so there's this popular saying also going on now. It's not just about the youth, you mm. know. Even the elderly, the, everybody's just saying it. Mm. No grief for anybody. Mm. <laughs> this one, this one touched me. When I saw no grief for anybody, I'm like, should I, should I start fighting everybody now or what? 
So what do you think about that slogan? Is it really important to keep saying no grief for anybody? Well, know? the slogan is beneficial in different ways, <laughs> but not. For example, <laughs> it will not be beneficial in front of an army person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now you, you can't do no grief for anybody when I'm in jam, you know. Mm. Uh -huh, but you can do no grief for anybody when this you decide say this year mm -hmm. my brand and no grief for anybody. I must push my brand okay. without without any discouragement from anybody. Okay. That's I one aspect you can employ the no grief for anybody slang. Okay, so so it has a positive you side have, to that, it. There's a positive side to it. No okay. grief for anybody. Don't allow anybody to trample on your hustle this mm. this year mm. or don't allow anything to hold you back. Okay. All those uh, die die relationships, all those mm. things that wouldn't be of benefit to you. Okay. No grief for them. Okay. So no grief for anybody this year. Okay. Or grief for me, man. Uh, but grief for me, man. Eh? <laughs> okay, so that sounds nice because you know the context at which it's used. I, I saw a picture. I saw a picture of um three vehicles. Okay, one was a bus, one was a private car, one was you know a commercial um luxurious bus, and then one was a keke. Okay, they were all on the same lane. They keke were no, no grief. they they no grief for any of themselves. So <laughs> they now got stuck. All of them got stuck. Keke they couldn't no move. Grief. Keke no grief. My no. my money is on the keke guy, no <laughs> green for the remaining three on that bus. So nobody my can pass. All of them got stuck. They all just got stuck. You know, so I was yeah. like, this no green thing is really going a different direction. Some people see it as they you know they don't. They're not using it positively for some people. Why some people are also using it positively, like what you try to explain now. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think we should know the context to which we use this no grief for any person. Okay, yes, no grief for any person. For me, is a two way thing. Okay, there's some time you need to grieve, and there's some time you don't need to grieve for anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are you grieving for me? Uh, because now no, I'm I grieve for you now. Yeah, life for balance, uh, hey. so that life go balance. <laughs> so I grieve for, I grieve for you, I grieve for you. Okay, so that this is a um, uh, Valentine saying. In fact, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, having you as my content creator because you're so vast in so many things. You know, I'm gonna be consulting you, and uh, I hope you're gonna um, make us time to at least. Of course. You know, let me learn from your wealth of experience. You're young, but you have so much in you, so much up there, you know. Because I know I've listened to your radio show before. When was, I mean, when you were doing those sports, I, I think that was in Calabar, you were doing yes. one radio. Uh -huh. yes. It was quite fantastic, you know. You've you, you got a scholarship. For you to get a scholarship, it also means that you must have been good at what, I mean, academically. Okay, mm -hmm. otherwise you won't even get a scholarship. So there's so many things to learn from young people so not all the young people out there are doing the wrong things perhaps this phenomenal young uh darlington Wusu, who is inspiring um the youth okay so darlington um on the final note before we let you go yeah. i'm gonna be having you again but for now okay, okay. i want to find out you know people are jackbaring i hear jackba 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 is that a solution to the problem that the young people are having because i see that it's basically the young people mm. who are just jackbaring and I think that that is brain drain also, if well, you all leave. Um, the grass is not greener on the other side. Okay. That place you feel like the grass is greener, somebody watered that grass. Okay. So, um, if the idea of going abroad is to go gain a wealth of knowledge or experience and come back mm. and create sustainable goals in your own home country... Mm. Perfect. But if the idea is to go to where things are much better, then you find out that you go there and it's more or less the same scenario, just better basic necessities. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at we Nigerians, most of the things we are praying for, mm. if you go over to all those top world or first world countries, mm. they okay. are basic things. No, they're not prayer so points. The, they're not prayer points. So they're by the time we get there, and, ah, no, no need to even be going to this church again. Where most of the things are prayed for <laughs> are just directly here. So, um, if one really wants to make impact in the world, mm. we can start from anywhere we are in. Your solution, if you look around you, there is one problem that you might be the solution to. Okay. If you're abroad conscious, you probably might be Nigeria useless. Mm. So make sure you look at look around you. What problems can I solve with my inherent skills? Start from where you are. You don't really need to have much to start. Okay. But from anywhere, if you look around you, man has this inherent um, um, ability to adapt. Mm. That's a gift God has given to us. Yeah. So you need to uh, look at your environment. What can I use to start something or build something? And then our knowledge base begins to expand mm. and will make Nigeria a better place. It takes, 
it takes me and you to do it, oh. not by running to another man's country, okay. which they also put their head together to build. So mm. let's build ours too. Oh, that's so nice to see that there's some young people who are also thinking about building Nigeria, mm -hmm. okay? While some people are just saying, I'm just going to just leave this country for good. Things are not working. But some people are saying, um, the Linton of the School of Thought, that yes, you can go to the Jackbar or whatever it's called, as long as you're going to get more knowledge that you mm -hmm. can bring, back, bring home, back home, okay? And so please, um, all the youth out there, I'm so proud of you guys that we still have people like um, Darlington, you know, and likes of you out there who are still believing that Nigeria can be a better place. So Darlington, what do you, what's, what do you have for the youth before you well, fly away? Um, stay intentional. Okay. Stay steadfast. Mm. Stay sure. Um, launch for clarity. Launch for clarity. And then implement. And implementation, very key. Because yeah. if you have all of this and it's not implemented, it's as good as not... No, um, any knowledge that is not implemented is as good as no knowledge. Mm. So implement. All right. Don't be scared of making mistakes. Don't be scared of making mistakes. Yes, nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think you're right. Okay. So, Darlington, outside all this knowledge that you know, this that you know, how do you balance out your life? Despite the ups and downs of the economy, what else do you do outside? Too much sabi book, too much um, sales, too much no no and all of those things. I love football. Okay. I like to play. I like to watch. I like to argue about it. Don't come and say any <laughs> wrong stats. That does not make any sense. <laughs> I love my movies too, because mm. from movies you learn a lot from movies, mm. especially when they are combat sports related movies. That's the kind of movies I like to watch. So basically, football sports is mm. true once in a while. Mm. You know, mm. it's it's key to mm. stay balanced. Wow. Balance, yeah. life balance. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on this show, darling. Yes, so we're gonna be having you sometime again. Thank Do you. Do have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you.